All right, let's go over the specifications for the uh, R600. We'll start up here. We've got uh, two ports. Now these are 5525s, and then you got your cigarette lighter port, and it's rated for uh, 12 volts at 10 amps, 120 watt max from those three ports. You come down here. You got your two ACs, and these are 110 to 120 um, AC outlets. We'll put a meter on them and see exactly what we're getting out of them. Um, over here you've got four USB ports. The top, you got two USB C's and you can get 200 watts max because these each are 100 watt ports and they're not tied together. According to the manual, you should be able to get 100 watts out of this one and 100 watts out of that one. And then you come down to the bottom, you got two USB A's that are 18 watts a piece. And again, according to the manual, you should be able to get 18 out of each one um, at the same time. You got a light up here that, well, let's turn the power on. You got a light right there. And if you long press it, when it beeps, it'll SOS, long press it again, it'll go back and then turns off. So it looks like there's just one uh, brightness level and then an SOS. Uh, you also have a wireless 15 watt charger on the top that's right here and all of your ports for charging you got your AC which is right here you got a circuit breaker and then you got your um, 12 volt to 60 volt um, XT60 cord um, and that's for your cigarette lighter or solar panels and this will go 12 amps and that's one of the big things about this power station is you can go 12 to 60 you can put up to 60 volts in this so that's very very uh, nice to have for charging you got fans uh, vent on this side your fans are actually on this side I believe but uh, it has good ventilation the one knock on it is the fans can be really loud um, when in use so there's the specifications of the all powers R600 I do want to show you what you get um, with the uh, all powers R600 you get a, a user's manual and it's a very very nice user's manual get the unit itself and then you get this nice little charging um, bag to hold all your cables and you get cigarette lighter to XT60 you get your AC power cord this has no power brick just uh, plugs into the AC uh, port on your power station and then you got XT60 to MC4s so those are the three cables that you get with it and it's nice that they provide this bag too i wish more companies did that because this is you know it's not fancy but <clears throat> it gives you a place to organize and keep your cables um, you know nice and and handy and you know where everything's at all right we're charging with the ac and we're getting 430 watts into this thing so it's saying it's going to take 28 minutes and we're at 16 percent so this is the uh, fastest charging speed that you can charge the uh, all powers r600 okay we want to show you the charging from the cigarette lighter port or with the cigarette lighter cable we've got it plugged into our battery bank here and we're pulling 100 watts so you can charge from that port as well and with a 296 watt hour battery it'll go pretty fast even at 100 watts okay this is what sets the uh, RC 600 apart we're getting 312 watts of solar from the 400 watts I'm over paneling we're getting 39 volts 7.8 amps and over 300 watts of solar going into this so I don't have to take this outside I can just plug it in to my 
400 string of solar panels on the roof and charged this thing up. Must have went behind a cloud there. It's bouncing around, but you can see this will take over a little over 300 watts of solar and you just cannot beat that. And this is just a 299 watt hour battery, so you can get a lot of solar into it. Okay, we're going to see if uh, this R600 will run this hot plate. So we got it plugged in, we got our AC is already on, and we're going to start off with low. Now the inverter on this is 600 watts. We're going to hit start. We got some water in the pan. We're going to see if we can boil it. We're hitting 610. 608 already. We're going to try to take the temperature up and keep it at around 600 watts. See how high we can get the temperature. Because we're a little bit over. Hitting 200. And I apologize, I'm just trying to take my time here because I don't want to trip the circuit. You know, the fans have kicked on on the all powers and that's, you can hear what I'm talking about with the noise. So, yeah, we just tripped it. We went a little too high. So let's try this again and we'll try to kick it. Um, We go start. And I think we were pretty safe at around 275. Nope. Reset. Might need to go around 250. Stick around 220 and see what we can do here. We'll try to boil some water. And it is getting warm. If we can stick around 600 watts, I think we'll be okay. But that's the thing with these little power stations. But this one, it has a good size inverter. But now this thing will pull um, well over a thousand watts when you you know take it all the way up to high. It'll push around 1500. But if we can get 220, 230 out of it, uh, that's enough to boil water, that's enough to cook with, you can fry some eggs or what have you. So we'll let it uh, see if it's going to boil some water and uh, we'll check back in. All right, we are boiling water if you can see it there. Got bubbles coming in, took us about uh, 32% of the battery but it did not kick off we kept it at 230 degrees and you can boil water you can you know fry an egg or whatever you can use this hot plate with this little um, R600 and the good thing is, is it has a good turnaround time to recharge it all right we're going to see if we can make a pot of coffee turn our AC on <coughs> Here we go. Getting 545, 560. And we're actually making tea. So it's handling it. Um, we'll keep an eye on it and I'll check back in with you and show you the finished result. Okay, there you have it. We are done with our tea. 
it made it no problem. It was hanging around 560 watts about the whole time. We're down to 37%. So we boiled water, made a five pot cup of tea, could have, could have been coffee, and we went from 100 down to 37%. Again, this is a small battery, 296 watt hour lithium iron phosphate battery, but the inverter allows you to do things like this. Now, if anybody wants to know anything about this coffee pot, it's just a regular Mr. Coffee. It is a smaller one, it's a five cup. And here on the bottom it says, which I'm sure you won't be able to see, but it's 600. And 50 watts now it never got above 560 something while we were using it but um, I'm sure that's easy to find on Amazon your local hardware or whatever but this is great because it gives you a, it's a five cup coffee pot and you can use it to run on one of these small power stations okay I just wanted to check and see we're charging two power stations the Pecron and the EcoFlow. EcoFlow is getting about 87 watts. The Pecron is getting about 56. If you can't see that on the screen, and we're using the USA, uh, excuse me, the uh, USB C ports from the All Powers that are 100 watts each. So I'm guessing that the charge controller is limiting some of the voltage on the Pecron because I'm only getting 56, only getting 88, but I'm getting 160 watts from those two ports. Uh, I wish I had a better way to show you that. I think we probably could get 200 watts from them, but that's the best I can show right now. Okay, we grabbed our Go Labs. Now, it's not a 60 watt input, but we got 100 watts hooked to the EcoFlow from the USB-C and the All Powers is taking in 60. So we're showing 168 watts output on those two ports from the uh, All Powers. Okay, we've added a couple more things. So we're pulling four items off those four USB ports and we're getting 188, 189 watts coming from those. Getting 58 into all powers. 98 into uh, the EcoFlow and we're charging two Bluetooth speakers. So, it's the most I can get out of it. I'm sure I could get, get more, but right now that's the most I can say. But that, out of those four ports, I'm getting almost 200 watts. It's pretty impressive go and check the voltage and we're looking at 113 volts from the uh, 600 watt inverter so it says between 110 and 120 and we're getting 113 and it is a pure sine wave inverter all right guys tell me what you think about the all powers r600 this thing is a direct competitor to the Blue Eddy EB3A. Has a lot of some of the same characteristics and uh, one thing that I uh, failed to mention was that it uh, does have an app. It's a Bluetooth app. You do have to reconnect it every time you go to the app, but that's just Bluetooth. Um, you get a 600 watt inverter, 296 watt hour lithium iron phosphate battery, and I like it a lot now um, just so you know I paid for this with my own money it was not sent to me whenever I do a review on a product that was sent to me I will let you know <clears throat> but this one um, I just was looking at this the uh, specs on it and bought it because it l reminded me a lot of the EB3A and one of the things that really sets it apart is you can put 60 volts of solar. You can get 300 watts of solar in this. So if you are using a hot plate or a coffee pot um, that can be run on this unit, you can turn around and get it charged real quick um, with solar because you can get up to 300 watts of solar into it. Um, Tell me what you think about it. Leave it down in the comments below.
And what else can this, you know, R600 be used for? It's it's a great camping generator just for what, you know, I was just talking about with the uh, 600 watt inverter to run coffee pots and the quick turnaround time on charging it. So you, you're going to be hard pressed to find a unit that can take 300 watts of solar, have a 600 watt inverter where you can run a small coffee pot, a you know a hot plate if you control the temperature, and be able to turn around and charge it. Could you use it in a power outage situation? I mean that's not what it's designed for, but yes, it could get you by. Just like I said with the EB3A. Um, if I had to choose between the two of them, like I said in one of the shorts I did, is I'd probably choose this one, uh, just because it is that you know the 300 watts of solar that's the biggest difference between the two is i can get that much solar into it and it's 60 volts so you can put panels in series with this unit again tell me what you think like and subscribe to the channel and i want to thank you guys for getting me over a thousand subscribers um, if you haven't already subscribed subscribe and help me to hit that next milestone and I thank you again for all your viewership. Have a blessed day and we'll see you in the next video.